Apparently we're taking this job hunting thing really quite seriously. No jobs, maybe I should give up. I've adulted a little bit too hard and spent £83 on groceries. You're the only person that gets from street weekdays. Happy weekly vlog. It is first thing Monday morning. I've got myself some porridge with some leftover Easter egg. I say leftover. He still was only yesterday. So some very timely Easter egg <laughs> in it. I've got myself a coffee actually, and I didn't set my alarm this morning, oops. So I did have to miss my upper session because I've got a sports massage at 10 a.m. So I didn't have time by the time I woke up to get there, get back, eat, wash my hair, shave my legs because I need to shave my legs if that woman is gonna give me a massage because that would have been rude. Anyway, I'm gonna eat this and then we're gonna head off because it's quite far, but I wanna walk, get the steps in. just yet so for the next like half an hour i'm gonna edit today's weekly vlog which is really annoying because literally this morning when i was in bed i was like okay i'm gonna go to the gym and then i'll just have to get an uber to the place and i was like no you don't have the money for that like you can't really do that just you know what i mean like you're late now you fucked it up you didn't wake up to your alarm you can't now spend like 10 pound just deal with it sort it out in the day and now i'm gonna get an uber anyway because it's like really raining and it's like a 45 minute walk. Like if it was like 20 minutes, okay, fair enough. But like, it's a 45 minute walk. And it is chucking it down. And I don't even own a waterproof coat, so. I need to remember that it's still bank holiday today. I was like, oh, I need to bring my work phone. People are probably gonna text me by the time I've come out. It'll be like 11 by the time I'm out of this massage. It's bank holiday, no one's gonna text me. I am gonna go to Aldi after this because I actually tried to go to Aldi yesterday and forgot it was, I didn't forget it was Easter Sunday, but I just kind of thought it was like any other Sunday. I was very wrong and it was completely shut the whole time. Oh my God, I'm so excited for this massage. My back has been in bits recently because I've been sat on that stupid sofa too much working. Oh. My God, I am speechless. <laughs> I can't believe how incredible that was. That, I've already told Molly, I've already put it in my coaching group chat. Like it was incredible. I'm gonna put her here and I'll link her below. I just found it on Treatwell. I just put in sports massage and to be honest, I went cause she was the cheapest. <gasps> oh my gosh, she was so good. She was lovely. Like she was so nice. The room was warm. Everything she used smelled incredible. Music was gorgeous. Like if you chatted, she chatted. But other than that, she was just like, and deep breath and let me know. And like held my hand. And she was like, your right shoulder is fucked. And I was like, yep. She was like, oh, this is really bad. And I was like, I have been in bits the last few weeks. So I'm making that a every four weeks, five weeks kind of thing. Oh my God, I can't rave about that enough. I'm gonna walk to Aldi because it has stopped heavy raining, it's still raining. Also the back of my neck is now completely covered in tiger, tiger balm and oil. So I shouldn't have washed my hair, but oh well. Okay, I am back now and I went to the shops to buy some stuff for like a feto tomato pasta in the week. Look how fun my pasta shape is. I also bought stuff for a Thai green curry, which just reminds me I wanted to buy bamboo shoots from MLS and I forgot. Oh well. I also just bought some protein mousses and some fruit. I didn't buy a lot to be honest and then bought a couple of things from Home Bargains like Tiger Balm so I can give myself that same massage every day. And I did actually go into the charity shop and buy this cute little red shoulder, little like short sleeve cardigan situation. Yeah, man, it's your boy. I'm Philly and I will be replying to comments. I'm going to be going through the internet Usually, I don't post. Usually, I don't post, but I want the world to know. Time to pull a drop top out. Summer nights, it's a vibe, yeah. We've been keeping it in the house. Netflix and chilling, I GDM in, yeah. Didn't wanna share my love till I found someone I'm sure of. Young and untamed, I've been out of range, keeping it low, but I wanna be. I have just finished 
editing tonight's video. Plot twist, it is 3 p.m., which is fine. Um, I'm hoping it uploads within the next two hours. It should be okay, but the, the Wi-Fi here is pretty hit and miss. So I'm just uploading that. I do need to make a thumbnail. And I'm just trying to decide what I want to do with my evening. Uh, I did just look at the cinema, but there's nothing on. There's one film that I'd kind of like go and see, but I know my boyfriend wants to see it. And I am seeing my boyfriend this week. I do need to try on some of my summer stuff and see if I need to order or anything for, I've actually got two trips in April, which I'm so excited for, but I don't know if any of my summer stuff fits me. I say that I've only got like two pairs of shorts and I'm going on a hen do, so I need like some cute outfits, which I don't really have. And if I do, they're white. And I feel like you can't really do that. Let me show you what we're working with here. These are denim shorts that I got from H&M, honestly, a long time ago now. I got them before we went to Bali, like the summer that I finished uni. And now these are fine. I've got some calves on me these days. Woo! She's a runner. Um, but they definitely don't fit like how I would love. But if I don't find any that I do love, these will definitely do. And then I've literally just got white and I kind of feel like you can't wear white that much on a Hindu. I have got this denim skirt that I got from Vinted for a pound, but I'm pretty sure it's huge on me. So let's try this on. <laughs> uh, it's big, but I just want to be able to wear mini skirts, but my bum's kind of a bit too big. <laughs> um, okay, I should probably get rid of this skirt because there's nothing cute about that. Although I feel like in the UK, you'd probably get away with that more. Like it's a bit longer. I'm almost certain this is far too short. Okay, no, I actually think we can get away with this. I do need a pair of sandals. Like I don't own a single pair of sandals because I threw mine away after Thailand last year because they had snapped in half and they snapped in half on my last trip which would have been, I think they stopped in half in Australia and I kept them and I super glued them and then I wore them in Thailand for three weeks and then I was like, okay, now they need to go. I actually really like this. It's definitely short, but I think maybe my bum has shrunk because it's not that bad. I would never normally wear something like this if it's really hot because I would just sweat and chafe, but I don't think, like I said, it's gonna be that warm. So also like things like this are just annoying when they're warm, aren't they? Like these are sweaty in like a humid country or something. Not what you want to be wearing, but I think it's going to be like 19, 20 degrees. This is one of the Bershka like skims dupes from last year. I have got black pants on, so ignore that. Normally it's fine if you've got nude on. But I do think I'll bring this actually. We've also got a, um, I don't want to say too much actually in case she does for some reason watch one of my videos, but we've got something where... We're dressing like a little bit nicer. I want to try this on because me and my boyfriend have got a holiday. I'm going to see if this fits me. I have no idea if this is going to fit. I love this dress. I've had this dress for... The, I have had this one for so long. I actually wore this to Carter's graduation, which was so rogue, but it was like summery and I wasn't in the actual like hall. I just waited afterwards and basically wore it to dinner, but I love this dress so much. I'm so glad I never got rid of it. I just feel like it's very flattering. Um, so I'll probably bring this on mine and my boyfriend's hole. But where me and my boyfriend are going, it should be a lot warmer. Guys, I had feta left. So I've attempted to make the feta tomato TikTok pasta. I never made that. I never did that when it was a trend. Not a trend follower. Basically, I just want to do the mixy mixy thing with you. Mm. I don't know if it looks like the TikTok girls did it. Oh, it does look quite good, actually. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Okay, yum. Actually, it looks so good. Oh, my God. What a good use of, like, leftover feta. Wow. This smells incredible. This smells so good. Cheers. I feel like that tomato is going to be boiling. Mm. Yep, that's pretty good. Okay, I'm going to put this into Tupperware. Then I'm going to start cooking Thai green, which I've never actually really cooked before. Okay, we're chefing up. There we go. Simmer, bitch. Sim, simmer. I've got the keys to the bimmer. Zim, zimmer. I'll let you know how this turns out, to be honest. 
I've got hope that it will taste like a Thai green. I've not got high hopes. Like I think it will taste nice. I think it will taste fine. I don't think I'm going to be like, yep, slapped it, perfected it first time because I'm not following a recipe. I'm eyeballing everything. Okay, let's have a taste test. I am feeling a bit tired now. My back is very sore. <laughs> I've been stood cooking for hours. Aubergine basically doesn't exist, it's so soft. I'm happy with that. It's quite yum. Yeah, I'm happy with that. It's pretty good and it'll be better tomorrow. Do you ever just think like, mm, I've adulted a little bit too hard today. I'd like someone to give me a hug. <laughs> I'd like someone to pick me up and cuddle me. Maybe a kiss on the forehead. Do you know what? I think that's mostly why I really enjoyed my massage today. <laughs> I don't get hugs. I don't get physical touch. <laughs> she was like massaging me and I had to like put my hand behind my back and she was like, hold my hand. <laughs> she was like, it's okay, you can squeeze it. You can do it. <laughs> I was like, I've not had this many words of affirmation or physical touch <laughs> in so long. So maybe that's why I enjoyed this. <laughs> when like you get in a <laughs> When you get the massage and they stand at your head and go like this down your spine and back up, that movement there just feels like everything's gonna be okay. <sighs> Good morning. I don't know what's up with me recently. I cannot wake up and all I want to do is sleep. I don't know what's gotten into me. It is literally like taking me a good 40 minutes from when my alarm goes off to actually get out of bed. I'm gonna go and train glutes today. Glutes is the last thing I wanna be doing right now. Me later on in the week will be so grateful that I've got an upper session to do. My boyfriend is coming this week, so I'm very, very excited to see him and to do slower with him so that I don't have to squat on my own because it's the hardest session of the week by far. I got ready, but I think I'm also going to get changed. I've got this Lulu bra on, the one that does the crazy back. Um, I definitely bought this in a size too small, so I never really wear it, but it's also currently sat exactly where the worst parts of my sports massage were. So I think I'm gonna change to probably like my, like a cloud bra. Ah, <sighs> there we go. I've got my porridge. I'm just gonna sit and have a minute, hype myself up. <laughs> I have just finished up at Haunt, which is the coffee shop that I always go to. I need to get some work done. I need to start bringing out like my mini mic because <laughs> I get so nervous to talk in public like this. I'll hold the camera, I don't care. People like knowing what I'm saying. A bit scary. But I'm gonna go back because one, it's lunchtime, and two, I wanna get my hard drive because I'm actually gonna make myself a portfolio for like some freelance work and jobs. And there's one, I've just been, I've just applied to like four random jobs. Not random, like they're interesting. But like, I was just kind of like, yeah, we'll apply, see what happens. And there's one that I've just found that's actually actually sounds really interesting that like I actually really like to do so I'm gonna go back now and get my uni hard drive I've come home put a big cozy hoodie on I was actually about to say like oh, let's leave I need to pick up the hard drive I've scoffed down my pasta that I made guys <gasps> yum yum so good we'll be making that more often um yes hard drive needed mini Maltese bunny in hand um I'm gonna go downstairs I feel like this is a good sign of like, oh, I might find that actually really interesting and fun. The fact that I want to like quickly make a portfolio and get it off. Ceiling fan blowing cold breeze on your body. I can't tell you really what it is, but you got it. Make up in the morning, you got dresses in your closet. But you grab them tight, you in love with being modest. You a more body giving sin of views. I'm just saying I'm a mule. But you ain't even flexing. I need to get on a walk. Too much screen time today, so I'm gonna put my little fleece on 
And I'm actually going to walk, I was just going to do a nice walk around the Keys, you know, as per, but I'm actually going to walk to my doctor's because I need this prescription renewed because I've got one singular tablet left, which is obviously not good. And I did put in like a prescription renewal thing last week, but I accidentally did two. I accidentally put one like plain, clear, nothing on it one through and then updated it. But I don't know if it ever went through or if it like let me put in two or not. We end up on the keys, of course. Went to the doctors um, and she was really helpful. I can have a phone call tomorrow morning. And I assume it's just to like double check the prescription, chat to me, make sure everything's okay. And then I'm sure they'll just like give it to me again, hopefully. But if they do that, then I'll need to go to Tesco tomorrow to pick it up anyway. So I guess we'll get more stuff tomorrow. This is so wonderful and calming. Me and the girls are trying to get our April dinner date day in and I think it's going to be our first <laughs> unsuccessful one. Yeah, I'm feeling very peaceful. It's so nice that, I mean, I know it's been light at five for a while, but it's quarter past five and it's just like, there's no sign of this day ending. Like, it is so bright, which is so lovely. I'm so excited for, like, it to be summer around here. This, like, the Keys and now that we've got this new, like, market, it's so nice up here now in the nice weather, so... I'm very excited for that to commence. Oh, that was really good actually. I think tonight I want to get in bed. I always say screen free, screen free bedroom, but I think tonight I want to get in bed at like 8pm. Wow, that runner is insane. She looks incredible. Yeah, tonight I think I want to get in bed and lie down at like half seven. <laughs> I don't know where my evenings are going. I think it is literally because of the clocks. Like I'll be running around like it's 6 p.m. and then it'll get dark and I'll look at my watch and it's four minutes past eight. And I'm like, what? It was like two minutes ago. But now it is actually really acceptable time for me to tan and get in bed. Like I said, I'm really craving some chill time in bed. So I think I'm gonna tan and I think I am gonna bring my laptop into bed and watch either an episode of the morning show or the next episode of physical 100. Okay, tan is on. I've just been watching lower back pain videos because since my sports massage, I have been in agony, can't lie. It's because I was lying down with my legs straight for a, a while, which always hurts my legs and I always hurts my back. Um, like I can't lie with my legs flat out. How are we? It is Wednesday. I get to bloody see my boyfriend today and I am ecstatic about it. I have spent all morning filming. I have been filming an ad reel all morning. That's like a morning routine ad situation. Um, I have filmed my gym workout. I've just filmed two little TikTok chatty videos that I'm filming at the moment. I'm like starting a bit of a new series. So I've just filmed a couple of those, but I think I kind of like talked for too long. I don't know how I'm gonna get them into 90 seconds for Instagram. We will see, because 90 seconds is fast. Let me tell you that. It's half 10. I need to film the podcast, edit those, get to Tesco. I got a call from the doctor. They are giving, gonna give me my prescription and they're gonna give it to me on repeat. But I've just poured myself a coffee, which is what I do in the video. So I'm gonna sit a minute and enjoy this because I, although I've just been doing my normal morning routine, have been quite go, go, go all morning because I've been filming. So I've been thinking a lot. So I'm just gonna have a minute with this and then we'll get on with the day. But I hope you're all doing well. Actually a really lovely morning in the end. I was beating myself up in bed because I didn't get up again. I really don't know what's up with me recently. Like it's, it's a little bit, it's not worrying, but I'm like, why do I not want to start my day? Like I wake up and I'm kind of just like, oh, this again, <laughs> which isn't, which isn't a nice thing to say. And I don't mean that, but um, 
that's kind of how I feel at the moment. But now that I'm up and I've been to the gym and I've filmed and I've like put makeup on, I feel incredible. So yeah, I'm just gonna put some stuff on my Instagram story and chill a minute. God, today has been so work focused. I've literally been sat at the desk all day. Guys, I did a big freelance post on LinkedIn. <gasps> She's a freelance girl, what? Well, not officially, I've not actually uh, got a job. It's been up for about, to be fair, it's been up for about an hour now. No jobs, maybe I should give up. Um, but I spent, yeah, a little time doing that and now I'm just editing those TikToks that I filmed this morning. One is already sent off, another one is done. I'm just editing the next. I'm literally supposed to be weekly vlogging, I mean, daily vlogging for TikTok today. And like, I've not done anything. So that's really good. But we need to go to Tesco to pick up my prescription and dinner, but it's just been chucking it down all day. We're going. What we're not gonna do is talk about how I went to Tesco for a prescription and sweet potato and spent 83 pound on groceries. Actually, I was supposed to show you and then let you guess, but this is editing, so I could do that, but I've said it now. Cat's out the bag. 83 pound and no fucking prescription. Um, I was like, should I should have a prescription. She was like, no. And I was like, they were like, have you got a text? And I was like, no, but I didn't have an appointment at 9 a.m. this morning. And they said it would be here. And I called my doctors and she was like, yeah, nobody signed it off. I'll get them to sign it off now. And then she called me back and was like, nobody will sign it off. They're in a meeting. Which, I mean, it's fine. As you've seen, I got kitchen roll. To be fair, I did buy a lot of fun things. This is why I can never do my weekly shop at like a big Tesco because I just find it way too exciting. At least in Aldi, like there's nothing that exciting. There's no branded stuff. There's no fun new stuff really. Like it's just an Aldi at the end of the day. I got some jelly because I got, I need you to, I need to show you what's in this bag because the freezers at Tesco, either I just took that long or they weren't working. We've got some eggs because my boyfriend is coming. Some lettuce for something in the week teriyaki sauce and finally I got my hands on some sesame oil. I have needed that for a while. I got two big bags of vegetarian mints that are completely defrosted. I mean let's be honest this was literally enough to get a mortgage so I don't know why I'm acting surprised and then I also bought, should we do a mini taste test of these just small? We bought this Oppo caramelized biscuit ice cream so you know what this is supposed to taste like biscoff and these are what are literally completely defrosted mm. sometimes caramelized biscuit has this weird like like twang that i can't describe and that's what the aldi caramelized biscuit stuff tasted like and then we had this honeycomb crunch top halo top this cost a bomb so Mm. Yeah, that slaps. I don't know why I got them. <laughs> I literally don't know why I got them. I just seen them and I couldn't leave them. And then I got the, that's why I then got the jelly because I used to eat that a lot like a few summers ago, like ice cream and jelly in the evening, so nice. And then I finally found these. True Fruit, frozen fresh in white chocolate and dark chocolate raspberries. I was actually supposed to get sent some of these, but they've never turned up. Keep frozen, remove product from pouch and wait 15 minutes before enjoying. I think that's probably been out of the freezer 15 minutes now. I got some Philly actually, because I'm gonna make lasagna. I haven't made lasagna in ages because I've kind of gone off turkey mince. And then when I bought normal mince, I was like, yeah, bolognese and chili. And then I was like, oh, I might make some lasagna. So yeah, I got that. I got some raspberry jam, honestly got some avocado because I'm gonna make this like chipotle chicken um, thing from Niall's cookbook. But it was also expensive because I needed, I mean, bearing in mind everything I just showed you in the freezer, those two ice creams and the strawberries, raspberry things were five pound each. I swear, I walk into fucking 
Tesco with a club card and an Amex thinking that I've got all the money in the world, forgetting that a club card saved me six fucking pound and Amex is money that I just owe back. But I needed shampoo and this stuff is also quite, um, I didn't realise how expensive this was. Well, not expensive, but when I think shampoo conditioner, three pound each, this was a fiver and this was like four pound, I think. Um, but I did get sent these a while ago and I ran out yesterday and they are really good. I really like them. And you know, I could be spending like 20 pound on shampoo and conditioner. Some people do that. I'm going to just have a clean a minute. It's literally just like my gym bag is there and the bathroom floor does need a wipe and a mop. I know, but like now we've decided we're going out. So like- Do you want me on the background? You've turned Francesco. off- You've turned off my lovely vibey music to put on cars for our dinner and wine date. Yeah, but like, do you want to watch something else then? What's your jet on with some music? No, go on, you put cars on. You sure? Yeah, it's quite cute when you do- Francesco. When you do cute silly things. We played rock, paper, scissors in the cooperative and now we're going to Matt and Fred's. Yeah. Oh, he wants to go in. No, I don't. Topless. No, I don't. I'm not. I knew you'd say that. And Joe will say, he is always topless. No, but we have just played rock, paper, scissors and we are going to go out. Basically, we'd said we were going to date night and then <laughs> I did a classic girlfriend and Carl said, yeah, absolutely. I don't mind. And I went, well, if you don't bloody mind, then we're not fucking going. <laughs> but we are now. And then we played rock, paper, scissors and now we are so going. Different. These are what I've got. I've got sparkling white wine, semi old block, or pale rosé. We need to eat, I'm absolutely starving. Well, I'll, I'll you get ready. You're in charge of chicken. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Perfect one glass. Look at him, he's a. You know you're the only person that gets me to drink these days. Ever since I said I'm not drinking until the hen, the only two times I've had a drink has been with you. Cheers to that. <laughs> oh. The falling out, Megan. I might cry. Uh, it's like 20 past eight. Let's say hopefully out by nine. But I can assure you, it won't happen mm -hmm. again. another hut to feed and it's time to get brunch. I've tried to put on like another cute outfit but I don't know if I've succeeded that well. This is what I'm wearing. It's like cute but comfy and chill because it is just like midweek brunch. Um, but I just didn't want to wear like jeans again and we all know I struggle with a jacket. Is it a big earring kind of day? Yeah sure. I'm so excited to go to brunch with my boyfriend. Oh, I'm really sad. He just has to like leave again. We had a great gym session this morning. Well, I actually didn't. I, I was really moody because I tried to, I've been squatting 70 for eight for the last like three weeks, two weeks. So I tried to up it and it just didn't move. I got 72.5 for three sets, three reps. And then I tried to do my 70 for eight. I took a break. Let Carter do his sets, took a break, tried to come back. I mean, I got eight, but like, I fucking struggled. But to be fair, we did have wine yesterday and like, not a lot of sleep, not a lot of food before we went. So, is what it is. Gotta go grab my green ring. Apparently, we're taking this job hunting thing really quite seriously. I feel like we're taking it low key serious. Like, I'm just setting myself up on all the appropriate websites, but there's a job that I actually really quite would love to be interviewed for at least. Like, would love to chat to them to see if it's something I really want to do. And if I did, this sounds like the kind of place I'd love to do it. And on said website that I've applied for it on, you have to do this like screening thing, like a, like a video interview. So I sent my application off a couple of days ago, but I haven't got around to doing this yet. So I'm just going to do it. Um, and yeah, we'll see what happens. Hello, by the way, it is the next day. I haven't vlogged much while my boyfriend was here because I was enjoying his company, as I should. Hello. <laughs> so, we've got some catching up to do. Well, not really, it's 2 p.m. Um, I've not eaten lunch, although I obviously woke up late, so I only had breakfast about three, four hours ago. 
But we need to make lunch because I don't have anything, which is a bit annoying. <laughs> but I'm going to make some like chipotle chicken, I think, some salsa and some guac. So like all I've really got to do is put chicken in the air fryer for like 12 minutes. Yesterday, Carter drove me to Tesco to get my prescription and because he drove me to Tesco, I decided to pick up this. Fuck yeah. <laughs> this is a 24 pack of Pepsi Max because I would never get that because I, I can't carry it home. Like I've got nothing to do with it. So I'm just trying to figure out what I've got to do today. I need to go on a run. I need to run 10K. I think I'm just going to do it as a 10K easy. It is kind of, well, I'm going to go see how I feel. It is like kind of a tempo run. Like it's split up into sections, but I want to make a real saying this. I think sometimes I forget like I'm not an elite athlete. Like, oh, wait a minute. Oh no, of course I'm not competing in London Marathon elite section. Like if I am not feeling it today, I'm literally exercising, especially running. Like I'm literally exercising to get outdoors and have a good time and like stay fit and healthy. Like I'm not trying to become the world's next Usain Bolt. So I'd rather take the pressure off get outside and do my run then beat myself up for not doing a tempo run because like I'm only competing I'm not even competing against me when it comes to running like I'm literally like I'm just here for the ride like I'm just here for the run I'm just here for a good time oh god that's hard mm, all right there we go I have not drank one sip of water today I've just made like the yummiest lunch Homemade salsa, homemade guac, chipotle chicken, um, and some tortilla chips. So I'm gonna pour myself a glass of water because like I said, I've not had a sip. Um, that sip you just see me take, I think was the first sip I've taken all day. I think I just got a message about my first ever freelance job, but I don't know how serious these things are. Like, <laughs> I don't know, can you trust everybody? But I got a message on LinkedIn, so we'll see. What that entails and of course i'll keep you guys updated on this on this fun little new venture okay it's like it was meant to be there's been a girl's bathroom on in the background these things just come on my youtube queued and it just finished this second as i was putting on my first shoe this is the hardest part so i just haven't thought about it i've just like put on an outfit it is now like quarter to six five what well, liar it's half five by the time i'm out the door quarter to six um, I'm not gonna lie, I felt a bit ill after my lunch. I felt like I ate a lot of food. I then had a, a big yogurt bowl after what you've seen because I wasn't fulfilled. I can't run in the evening. I feel like I have so much food in me. And I just feel sick. I'm like, I can't do it. And I don't think I'm gonna do it. I think I'm gonna go home. All of a sudden my stomach is in bits. I swear, living alone is just getting to the end of the day and being like, what? It's my turn to cook dinner. Again. Like, I just cooked breakfast and lunch and dinner and breakfast and lunch yesterday. The day before that, the day before that, the day before that. Oh, God. Basically, it's my turn to cook dinner. For who? My, me, myself and I. But I don't want to. So, basically, it's 8pm. I need to get in bed in, like, Ideally half an hour. So I kind of just want to go downstairs and get something quick to eat. But time I've like been downstairs, got up here, cooked it. No, I think I just want to go downstairs and get something to eat. I don't think I'm gonna be bothered today. Look, I'm literally up at half five in the morning. Like, give me a break. I'm thinking I'm gonna preheat the oven while we go down and get pizza. <laughs> this is what a doctor ordered on a Friday night. Pizza, water, Pepsi, the morning show. I don't know if I've mentioned that's what I've been watching this week. Oh my God. I think I have, but I haven't said like what I think about it. It's incredible. It's not what I thought. Um, it's so good. I'm really enjoying it. Um, it's like exactly what I needed. Like I, I'm really, really enjoying it and I can't wait to sit and like watch an episode, but it's quite, it is quite fast, but it's not like, I don't know, it's not the type of show where I'm like, oh my God, sit down and watch it all in one series, in one sitting, which I am like with like when Netflix, com Netflix comes out with like an eight episode, one series. What was the one that just came out? Um, For Me Once. Like I get so addicted, I sit down and I watch it all in one sitting. This I'm not like that with, which is obviously great. 
but I am really enjoying it. So like for that hour in the evening, like after I've eaten dinner and I wanna do something, I'm not quite ready to get in bed. It's perfect because normally I just get bored and just clean and go to bed. <laughs> and that is at the end of that weekly vlog. I don't know what happened on the weekend. I'm trying to finish them on a Saturday and then like have a Sunday to chill, but I did not film that event. I need to stop pretending that like I can film events and like make reels and YouTube videos while I'm there because I'm just so engrossed and involved with like what is going on. But anyway, I'm up nice and early starting another weekly vlog. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next week for another one. Next week's is gonna be a fun one. Next week's is a fun one for sure. We've got some holiday prep going on, which means I'm going on holiday. Oh, okay. I'll see you next week. Bye, guys.